Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is applying addition and subtraction of integers. So we're going to do these with some application problems. Okay, so there's our, our groovy uh, Common Core standard for most awesome teachers. And our question here is how do we solve multi-step problems that evolve and involve uh, addition and subtraction using integers, okay? And don't forget, you guys, all your all your math lessons, if you go to MrMathBlog.com and you'll see up in the middle of that yellow toolbar, you'll see... Um, You'll see seventh grade. I'll try and show you that in the next video if I can I can remember to have that set up. Anyway, so here we go. So here's our first example, a seal. Here's our seal right here. This seal is swimming uh, five feet below the sea level right there, okay? So here's the sea level. So this uh, here's the seal five feet below. And then uh, the seal dies down 12 feet down here uh, to catch some fish. Catch, catch, catch. And the seal swims up eight feet right here. Uh, towards the surface, which is catch. What, what's the seal's final elevation? Okay, so we're going to do um, uh, five feet below. It would be negative five right here, and then we're going to sink it down by 12 and then add eight in the positive direction. Okay, so the seal starts at five feet below. So negative five feet would be its initial position. So the start time subtracts the, the 12 feet that it dives down, and then we're going to add eight to that because it goes back up. So add or subtract from left to right. So what I'm going to do is uh, remember we do negative 5 plus a negative 12. Negative 5 plus negative 12 is negative 17. Okay. Um, so when you have um, when you're adding um, integers that have the same sign, then you go ahead and add them and keep the sign of them. So this is negative 17. And then negative 17 minus 8. Well, we do 17 minus 8 and then take the sign that has the bigger absolute value. So it's going to be negative 9 right there, okay? So answer the question, you guys. Negative 9 what? What's that represent? Well, it represents the seal's final elevation is negative is 9 feet below sea level. Sea level, okay? So negative 9 means 9 feet below sea level. All right, so that's a reasonable answer because the seal swam farther down. It went down 12 feet, and then it came back up only 8 feet. So... Okay, all right, so Anna is in a cave 40 feet below the cave's entrance, so this is just like sea level stuff. So she descends, means she goes down, she descends 13 feet, then ascends, which means she goes back up 18 feet. Find her new position relative to the cave's entrance, okay? So negative 40 would be 40 feet below, and then down 13, so we're going to subtract 13, and then she goes back up 18, so we're going to add 18. Okay, so negative 40 pl uh, plus a negative 13 is negative 53. Negative 53 plus 18, well, we subtract 53 and 18, and then we keep the sign that has the bigger absolute value, so it's negative 35. Again, you guys, negative 35 what? Okay, always answer it in the context of the problem. So n is 35 feet below the cave's entrance. All right. Okay, so remember, commutative property, they're going to ask us to do that in the next problem. So I just put a little remember or recall here. A and B can commute around the addition sign and make it B and A. So A plus B equals B plus A. Like when I drive to work, I commute to work. These um, numbers will be commuting around the addition sign. That's called the commutative property of addition. And then the associative property says I can associate any pair of these first to add. If we have A plus B plus C, I can add A plus B first, or I can add B plus C first if I wanted to. So that's called the associative property. We're associating a group of numbers first. Okay, so they're going to ask us to do that here in just a bit. So Irene has a checking account. Uh, Monday, she writes a check so of $160 for groceries. Okay, so that means it's a minus $160 in her checking account. And then she deposits. That means she puts money back in, $125. Finally, she writes another check for $40. What's the uh, total uh, change in the amount of Irene's account? Okay, so we don't know how much money she has in there, but they just want to know how much did it change with those three transactions okay so when Irene deposits money she adds that amount to the account when she writes a check that money is deducted from the account so let's go ahead and make a plan here so use positive integers for the amount that uh, she deposited or added to the account and negative numbers for the checks that she wrote and find the sums okay so so she has she wrote the check for 160 so that's a minus 160 and she deposited, so that's a plus 125, and then she wrote another check, so that's a minus 40, okay? Now what I'm going to do is do the commutative property of addition. 
Okay, so let me just slide that up right here. So add the amounts to find the total change in the account and use properties of addition to simplify. Okay, what I'm going to do is commute these two numbers around the addition sign so I can put the negatives together. Okay, so that's called the commutative property of addition. Can you see that right there? Can you see this 125 and negative 40 became negative 40 and 125? They commuted around that addition sign right there. All right, now I'm going to associate these two numbers together. So that's going to be the associative property. And so negative 160 plus negative 40 is negative 200. And negative 200 plus 125 is negative 75. Now what's that mean? Okay, so negative 75 means she went down in her checking account. So uh, the amount in the account decreased by $75. Okay. All right, so justify and evaluate. Okay, well, so Irene's account has $75 less than it did uh, before the Monday, before she started doing that, it said on Monday. So uh, that's a reasonable answer because she wrote checks that added up to $200, but only deposited at $125, which has a difference of $75 right there. So describe a different way to find the change in Irene's account. So we can represent the amount she writes in checks as positive integers, okay? So $125 is how much she deposited, and then we subtracted $160 and subtracted $40, and then we just do... Um, um, 125 uh, plus a negative 160 and we subtract them we get a negative 35 negative 35 minus 40 is the same as negative 35 plus negative 40 okay which is negative 75 and what does that mean that means a decrease of 75 dollars all right so here we go let's do another one here guys just like this alex wrote checks on tuesday for 35 dollars and 45 dollars so minus and minus he also made a deposit that's a plus in his checking account for 180 dollars find the overall change in the amount in his account okay so um, I'm not gonna get so technical like I did on the last one or like your textbook did we'll just jump right to the solution so uh, the 35 and 45 dollar checks are minuses and then we deposited 180 so we can combine those guys so negative 35 plus negative 45 is negative 75 and then negative 75 plus um, 180 is 105 where did I get a uh, hundred that's a hundred five yeah we I knew I made a mistake I was just thinking of that too all right so um, so that means that there's a hundred and five dollar increase on that okay sorry I gotta change that before I send it out to some teachers okay anyways here we go so here's the next example the Tigers uh, which is a football team must gain 10 yards in the next four plays to keep possession of the ball Okay, so they get four plays, and every ten, they got to get ten yards to keep doing another four plays. So here we go. Here's the first play. The Tigers lose 12 yards. Second play is they gain five yards. The third is they lose eight yards, and then the fourth down they get uh, they they gain 14 yards. Do they keep the ball? Do they uh, maintain possession of the ball? So there's um uh, there's what their their first play right here. So let me get up my little pointer right here. There's the first play. So they lose 12 yards and they gain 5 yards. They lose 8 yards and they gain 14 yards. Is that enough to get a 10-yard gain to keep possession? Okay. So when we um, uh, negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. Negative 7 minus 8 is negative 7 plus a negative 8, which is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 14 is negative 1. So the Tigers uh, gained less than 10 yards, so they didn't get, be able to keep the ball. They had to turn it over to the next uh, team, okay? All right, let's do a little bit more here, you guys, and we'll wrap it up. So Jim and Carla are scuba diving. Jim started out 10 feet below the surface. He descends 18 feet, so that's a minus. And, and the 10 feet below is also a minus, okay? Minus 10 and then minus 18. He rose 5 feet, so plus 5, and then descended again 12 more feet, so minus 12. Then he rested. Carla started out on the surface. That's zero. She descends 20 feet, minus 20, rows 5, plus 5, descends another 18 feet, so minus 18, and she rested. Which person rested at a greater depth? Okay, so here's Jim right here. Okay, let's see how, what his final um, resting spot is. So negative 10 minus 18 is negative 28. Negative 28 plus 5 is negative 23. Negative 23 minus 12 is negative 35. We got to add or subtract from left to the right. Okay, you can't jump in the middle. You got to have you have to add or subtract from left to the right. Okay, so um, he's 35 feet below sea level. All right, and then Carla 
she starts out at the surface, so that's going to be zero. Then she goes down 20 feet, goes up 5 feet, down 18 feet, okay? So here we go. So 0 minus 20 is negative 20. Negative 20 plus 5 is um, a negative 15. Negative 15 minus 18 is negative 33. So she's 33 feet below. So who's deeper? Jim rested at a greater uh, depth than, than Carla did, okay? All right, you guys. I know I went kind of fast on that, but I hope that makes sense. And take care.